Hola amigos, Red Pill Biker here. I know it's been a, been a week or so since I last put up a video. Um, been getting ready to hit the road again. I'm actually on the road again. Headed down to Arizona. Because I don't want to be any place cold in the wintertime. And Arizona weather is perfect, so I'm headed down there for the next few months. But anyway... That's not what I'm here to talk about. Now, I'm going to continue on with my Simp Recovery program, but I'm going to take a little sidebar here. Um, I want to recommend a book. And you guys are probably uh, familiar with this fella, Aaron Clary. I've been watching some of his videos, and uh, he speaks mainly to men much younger than me. At least that's the way I gather it. But I got curious, and so I looked up and found out this guy's written a lot of books. And one of them that caught my attention was one called The Book of Numbers. And it's on Amazon, and you can get it on Kindle, so it's not very hard to get a hold of. But I began to read this book, and these uh, books aren't very long. I mean, his, this book may have been 100, 120 pages, something like that. Something you could easily do in an evening. But here's what he talks about, is basically the financial cost of having a woman, of chasing a woman, of being married. Now, at 62 years old, this is uh, information I wish I would have had 30 years ago, but to be honest with you, I would have ignored it anyway, because I had my head up my ass. But for those of you younger guys, and I mean... 40 or under, really even your older guys, I'll take that back, all of us. Now, I can't go back in time and reinvest my time and reinvest my money um, because that isn't the way things work. But you younger guys ought to get this book. And it goes in, he crunches numbers. Um, look, I didn't go and double check his numbers. Because I'm not a statistician or an eco, uh, economist. He is. And he really goes through it. It makes a hell of a lot of sense. He uh, breaks down the cost of, you know, say you spend X amount of dollars on dating, X amount of dollars on a wedding, X amount of dollars on a, a, a diamond ring, and all these other things. And then he says, okay, now when you turn 65, this is what you'd have in your retirement account if you'd thrown it into just the S&P 500. And it was millions of dollars. And I actually said, you know what? I think I'm going to take pen and paper and I'm going to calculate out where I would be had I never got married. And I got out my pen, I got out my paper, and then I went, nah, that's it. that'll be just too freaking depressing. So I'm not going to do it. But you younger guys, get the book, lick into the book, read the book. I have since bought two other of his books, and um, they all have a great deal of uh, red pill wisdom in them. Now, like I say, I didn't, I didn't get out my calculator and try to figure out whether this guy was right. I didn't go to the different websites and uh, check his numbers because... You know, I can when I read something or hear something, I kind of pick up on the fact whether this guy has uh, um, any uh, any real knowledge, and he comes across as a man with a lot of knowledge. And I would say, get it's on Kindle. You can buy it on Kindle. I think it was eight bucks, something like that. And I think to myself, you know what? If I can get one guy to buy this book, this eight dollar investment will multiply in their lives. Now, even though I'm older and I've uh, been divorced for a while and I've already gone through the ringer, I started thinking, well, how is my life now? How are my finances now? And it made sense even for a guy my age to sit back and say, ain't no way I'm getting caught in that trap again. Now, I made that decision for uh, a lot of different reasons five years ago that this was never going to happen to me again. But you take it and you pour on top of it the financial reasons, along with the emotional and moral reasons not to do that again, and man, it makes a heck of a lot of sense. Anyway, gentlemen, 
just wanted to touch base wanted to give you a little recommendation on something that would make for a good reading over the weekend and just remember this life is hard do not make it any harder than it needs to be buy this book keep it real guys adios